Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create abstract looping kaleidoscope sequence in advanced effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So as you see here in my comp, I have this LS Rail file right here. So we can just drop any shape you want to create looping kaleidoscope for it, or just create uh, your shape inside After Effects using shape layers. So let's pre-compose this one here and rename this shape 01. And let's open these and make sure collapse transformation is on and the size is big enough on this comp right here. So we now want to animate the rotation and scale here. So starting around 30 and zero on rotation and around 25, we want this to be 100 and 180 on rotation. So we're going to have very straightforward animation here. So now we're going to pre-compose this one more time and this is going to be elements and move all attributes and hit OK. So now I'm going to animate these one more time. So from zero around 25, we want to make these cover the whole comp right there. We can enable collapse transformation to get a little bit clear quality, or you can just open these and double the size of the comp and scale the shape inside of these comp. But for now, I'm just going to leave these as it is. So I'm going to pre-compose these again, and it's going to be element animation and hit OK. So now I want to duplicate these around maybe 60 or so. So maybe just this is going to be enough for us. And I want to sever these, so I'm not going to do that manually. So you can use any free scripts to stagger the layers here. And I'm going to stagger these around 20 frames, ascending and hit OK. So now we're going to have basically something like this, but I want to look for around four seconds looping. So I'm going around maybe 30, 34, and just drop the last frame and hit N. So we can trim here the comp to work area and let's preview to see how this looks like. So as you see, we've got a really nice looping animation here. It looks very seamless. But we want to have things look pretty cool and to add more depth. So and now we want to open the element animation here and go for element comp. And I want to apply gradient ramp here. And let's center the start here and just go for radial and swap colors. And so I'm going to add CC Turner here. And I'm going to add CC Composite. So I want to composite original shape on top. So I can use add here. And basically you can see what's going on here. So let's go back to the main comp here. And let's take a screenshot for this and just disable the effects here so we can see how things look different. So we add some nice depth to these shape layers here, which is really cool. So and now basically we can use CC Composite to get different looks. So we can use Stencil Luma here. And basically it's going to have transparency on it. So let's see how this looks and take another screenshot here so you can see uh, the difference for if we go for cell Luma here, so you can see we got a different look now. And now we have a different look. You can see these little gaps here. We can fix that just by 
adjusting the animation here, maybe add more seconds here and basically maybe go for a little bit more and it's fix it for us. So now we've got some really nice different look in here. Before we go forward, let's uh, create here shape layer or adjustment layer and it's going to be color and let's apply glow here. So I'm going for 70 and 30 on radius there. And I'm going to choose here, maybe stencil luma for now, or maybe cell luma here. You can see we've got some really nice depth right here. So I'm going to add sharpen here to sharpen these. 20 on amount and I'm going to add color RAM so I can switch colors very quickly here just looking for different colors so you can see what we got here so on modify we can go for different channels and that's going to give it a little bit of different looks so I'm just going to leave this as it is and just use presets here to change colors. And I'm going to add noise here. Let's go for 10. And then I'm going to add invert here. So I want to invert colors. So I can go for different channels here, as you can see, to get different looks. And maybe I'm going for this one and maybe 70 to blend things together here. And I can add CC Compose again right here and just put this before Invert here and use Hard Light to add some contrast to this. So let's preview to see how this looks like. So as you can see, we got some really nice look in here very quickly and easily. You can see how this look really cool and beautiful. So we can just now uh, do more things to this. So maybe right here on Elma animation, I can add CC Collider here. So basically, typically that's what we got when we add Collider here. And if we just look at these right here, well, we got some problems for this. So you can see we got some weird looking stuff going on here. So we need to fix this and to fix it is very easy here. Let's go back to the main comp here or to this LMA animation comp. So we need to uh, fix the boundaries here first. So we can use grow bounds here. Basically, this should fix the problem, but I'm not sure uh, why these not fixing it. I think uh, got problem, the one that come with After Effects. So I'm going to use this one from Read Giant, and you can just drop these on top right here. It's going to fix the boundaries here. So maybe I'm going for size 50. I want that to get a little bit bigger right there. And let's go back to the main comp here. Let's say auto here. So you can see now we got some really nice looking from just adding Collider to Element Animation Comp. So as you see, we've got really cool kaleidoscope animation here. So and now we can have different looks. Maybe change here, Marin to Starlish. It's not going to change much here, but it's going to look a little bit different. So you can keep building up things. So you can see here uh, the difference if we switch back to flower here. So you can see here, the looks change pretty quickly here. And you can just duplicate these and position these to create some more 
complicated looks here. So you can see now how complicated these looks and basically now uh, you can just go back to the element here, maybe switch to stencil luma instead here and getting a different look really nicely here as you can see. Just switching between different composite on original here we are getting really cool looks as you see. Very interesting as you see guys, which is really cool here. So we can also add drop shadow here and that's going to add some depth as well. So maybe softness 20 here and you can see we got some nice drop shadow there. So I'm not sure if you can see the drop shadow here, but let's take a look so we can see the difference. So you can see the difference here by adding drop shadow, you can just adjust the drop shadow here. So you can see how things look really cool. So you have endless uh, results that you can get. So now if we just change our shape here, we are going to get a different result. So let's make these big right here. And let's take a look right here. So for this one it looks a little bit different. So maybe we just need to go for cell low main state here. And let's see how this looks. You can see the looks we got here. And if we just disable Collider here and just keep our shape here, we're going to get some really cool and nice looking here. Maybe here changing to different channel here is going to make things look pretty cool as you can see. Really nice. Maybe you can just turn off CC Composite here. And you can see how quickly now you can just drop any shape here. I got really few shapes here that you can just drop. So maybe this one here, just make sure we can see the whole shape. So maybe we can go for nice look here first. Maybe we can choose cell here. So you can see what we got here basically and the colors as well make things look different here. So keep in mind changing colors can affect things in how it looks. So maybe here we can go for negative here so we can see more details for this shape which is look really cool so let's preview this and see how it looks like so as you see guys the animation look really nice and beautiful very easy to create using uh, these techniques so you can get different results with just one shape. So you can create your shape using shape layers inside After Effects or just drop any shape you have. So that's it guys. Hope this tutorial was very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and they will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.